Hey guys, so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use dual or nail forms using soak off gel and hard gel. So to achieve these looks, I use the ASP nail forms, which comes with a instructional DVD, which I'm not gonna use, and of course the nail forms. It also comes with instructions, but we're just gonna wing it. Well, not really. So the first thing that you wanna do is you want to fit your nail forms. So go through each finger, pop one on that fits and you'll know that it fits because it will uh, basically align around the cuticle but also reach your side walls. What you don't want to do is put the form on way up against the cuticle and press down. This will give you a false read because this is not how the form is really going to fit. You don't want it to be that tight. You need to build some height. So what you want to do is back away from the cuticle a little bit and check to see that you have that gap of space that is forming the arch above your nail. Again, don't press down. Now I'm first gonna show you how to do this with a Soak Off Builder Gel, and I'm choosing to use the Leaf Gel Sculpting Gel 2. Now I've chosen this gel because it has a high viscosity. So if you don't have it, you can use any builder or sculptor gel that has self-leveling properties, but doesn't drip off of your bristles when applied. To use the form, you wanna start by placing the bead where you want the length of your nail to end. This is going to be short so I'm not taking a very large bead of gel either. And I specifically placed this bead as you will notice in the middle of the nail because again that's where most of your product should always be. Then I go back and I spread the gel from the tip to the side walls on both sides which is again how I would normally build a nail extension. And when attaching this to your natural nail you actually want to start at the cuticle holding the form in a 45 degree angle and then slowly coming down until you notice that there's no air bubbles. As you press down, the gel wants to kind of squeeze out the other end. So you can kind of doctor that up a little bit, but again, remember you need to hold the nail form or the dual form from the top. Your best bet is to use an e-file to clean it up later. So I've cured my gel and a second observation that I noticed is that as you can see, this nail form doesn't really look that straight as far as the free edge is concerned. And the C-curve on top of the nail looks as though it continues to point down, which means that your nails are gonna create more of a hawk nail, or so I thought, which I'm gonna show you a little bit later. So to remove the forms, you actually want to rock them back and forth, which is why it has little tabs on the side. For the soak off gel, I actually noticed that this was a little bit difficult. Another observation, which I'm sure you guys can notice is that this nail is very thin, especially if you look down the barrel of the nail. And that could be me, maybe I could apply more gel, but but honestly, I don't think so because like I said, when you go to press it down onto your natural nail, the excess gel is going to start squeezing out of places you don't want it to squeeze out of. And another thing that I noticed is if you look at the top of this form, it has a bit of a bevel and it imprints this onto your nail form as well. This isn't a big deal. You can of course just use a file to blend it in, which is what I would normally do anyway. But overall, I actually really like the way this looks. And if you have short nails or if you wanna just do an overlay, I actually really recommend these. And I'm gonna show you why I say that right now. So next I'm gonna show you how to use these nail forms with a hard gel. And I'm using the Ken's or Accents, whatever it's called, Balance Gel in Warm Pink. This is the exact opposite of the gel that I just used. In this case, that the viscosity is a lot higher. And this one, in fact, doesn't self-level very much at all. Now with the cuticle pusher application method you can see you save a lot of time and you don't have to fiddle with the gel as much however if you do want to make any adjustments i don't even use a brush i just use a silicone tool and move the gel where i want it to go because this gel is so viscous which is just a personal preference because as you can see this gel again does not level very much another thing that i noticed is that removing the form from the hard gel was a lot easier than it was with the soak off gel and earlier I mentioned that I was concerned that I wouldn't be able to get a straight sidewall, but as you can see, I actually achieved one with this nail, despite having that heavy curve on the dual form. And I wanted to show you guys some variations. So I've already done an oval, now I'm doing a square shape. As I mentioned before, you'll probably want to clean up the free edge. So I went in with an e-file like I recommended and took out the unnecessary or excess gel in the arch. Then I took the nail down to an almond which doesn't look half bad, but again, from the free edge, there is too much bulk. So I just went in the hand file and thinned it out. In the before and after, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I definitely can because removing the excess bulk 
made the nail look a little bit thinner. So what do you think my final verdict is? Well, if you look at this extension that I did on my other hand, you'll notice that the nail is much more streamlined. And of course, once polish is going to look a lot more natural. And that's because I was able to custom pinch the free edge. It's just a personal preference that I like the look of a tighter C curve. But again, I do still like these specifically for overlays and those who are either beginners or don't necessarily want a long extension. So I hope that was helpful to you guys. And if you wanna see any more of these types of videos, maybe using another product, um, like I was thinking maybe the uh, Madame Glam Builder in a Bottle might be interesting. If that's something you wanna see, let me know in the comments. And I also wanted to say to those of you who requested the stitch that I had on my thumb in my last video, I will be filming that tutorial. And also for those of you who are interested in the thumb palette, I'm gonna be posting a very limited amount next week. So look forward to that on Friday. January 26th.